In the words of Matthew Henry, wherever we are, we may find good work to do if we have but hearts to do it. And we may well trust God to provide for us without our anxious disquieting cares. The warm air of spring has arrived, curtains gently blow in the breeze, and the grass warms beneath my feet. Inside the incubator, the fertilized eggs gently rotate, back and forth, back and forth. Outside the shells look very much the same, but inside something special is happening. New life is all around us, as Mother Ophelia gently licks the downy heads of her half a dozen brood of kittens. The sap continues to run, although the drips become slower and farther between. The fruit trees need pruning and a final dormant spray. So much anticipation fills my heart as the green tops of the daffodils peek their way up towards the sun. Those 90 bulbs I planted in the orchard garden are still hiding. I guess the north side really does stay colder longer. Then there are the grapes. The overloaded wires sag from their weight and I'm reminded it's time to tie back the new shoots and prune. The mulch piles are still solid with ice, but not for long, and before we know it, it'll be time to edge the beds. Spring. A time of industry, of mucky boots, rosy cheeks, and increased energy. How I waited for these days with my tea on the porch, the returning of the geese, and even the smell of the skunk. Soon the peepers will be singing their tunes, and then, my friends, I know that without a doubt, spring has arrived. I hope that you as well can find some dirt to muck in, a breeze to blow across your face, and a spring bulb to cheer you. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under heaven. <laughs>